night everyone and welcome to Saturday morning prayers it's good to be here with you this morning on this wonderful beautiful weather that we're having here in the UK at the moment so I'd like to begin I'd like to welcome everybody this morning welcome all those that are not logged in today and we welcome all those that are logged in this morning And I'd like to begin with our lighted candle. If you would like to light a candle and join us in global in, in lighting a candle for global peace and into spiritual unity. In the name of our beloved Father, Mother God, who creates life. In the name of the risen cosmic Christ, who loves life. In the name of the Spirit, who is the fire of life. In the name of Gaia, who is the Earth Mother that nurtures the creation of all life. In the name of all faith traditions who are the beloved sons and daughters of the divine life, we celebrate our spiritual diversity by honouring the supreme in all life. And we say this morning, be still and aware of God's presence within and without. So we'll begin this morning with the prologue to the Saturday morning communions. I enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the Heavenly Father and Earthly Mother and Great Masters, reverence to the holy, pure and saving teachings, reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Saturday morning we commune with the Earthly Mother saying, the Earthly Mother and I are one. She gives me the food of life to my entire body. When you have completed these words, you contemplate the edible fruits, the grains, the plants, and feel the currents of the earthly mother flowing in you and intensifying and directing the metabolism of your body. So now just for a few moments, let's think of Mother Earth and how wonderful it is, especially especially when it's when it's midsummer as we're getting in in, um, in the UK and all the flowers and the trees and the plants of the Creator's Garden and it's so lovely. Now I'd like to say the prayer of protection. In the name of the risen cosmic Christ, I draw a bloodline by faith around the Teyu community, around each one of us online today, around all those that are not logged in and all those that are logged in this morning. We draw a bloodline by faith around our health, our finance, our homes, our partners, our families, our life's work and our friends and clients. We draw a bloodline by faith knowing that there is power, wondrous power in the precious blood of the risen cosmic Christ. And neither Satan nor any of his co-workers or dark energies or entities can ever cross such a bloodline. Amen. Now we stop for a few moments and think of the things that might be troubling us this morning and we bring them to Christ the healer or whoever our higher power may be today. Maybe you have money worries. Maybe you have a family issue. Maybe you have a health issue. We bring it all to the Lord this morning. Anything that may be troubling us and we just pray to the Lord for solutions to all our problems today. And we pray this morning in the comforts of your love I pour out to you my Saviour. The memories that haunt me. The anxieties that perplex me. The fears that stifle me. The sickness that prevails upon me. The frustration of all the pain that weaves about within me. Lord, help me to see your peace in my turmoil, your compassion in my sorrow, your forgiveness in my weakness, your love in my need. Touch us, O oh Lord, this morning with your healing power and with your strength, so that we may be able to return to you, children of God, whole, perfect and complete. Amen. How wonderful is the knowledge of yours, Lord, that you have shown me, Lord. Now, Psalm 139, and this is another one of my favourite psalms, because this is saying that no matter where we go, 
whether we go to the heavens or whether we go down into the earth or whether we go into the grave we can't be away from the Lord's presence the Lord sees all things O oh Lord you search me and you know me you know my resting and my rising you discern my purpose from afar you mark when I walk or lie down all my ways I open to you ever before a word is on my tongue you know it O oh Lord through and through behind and before you besiege me your hand is ever laid upon me too wonderful for me this knowledge too high beyond my reach or oh, where can I go from your presence or oh, where can I go from your spirit O oh Lord where can I free from your face if I climb to the heavens you are there if I lie in the grave you are there if I take the winds of the dawn and dwell in the sea's farthest end even there your your hand would lead me and your right hand would hold me fast if I say let the darkness hide me and the light around me be night even darkness is not dark for you and the night is as clear as day how wonderful is this knowledge of yours Lord that you have shown me who could ever know the mind of the Lord who could ever be his counsellor for it is for it it was you who knit me together sorry I'll say that again for it was you who created my being and knit me together in my mother's womb I thank you for the wonder of my being and for the wonders of all creation already you knew my soul and my body held no secret from you when I was being fashioned in secret and molded in the depth of the earth your eyes saw all my actions they were all of them written in your book every one of my days was decreed every one of them came into being to me how mysterious your thoughts the sum of them not to be numbered if I count them they are more than the sand to finish I must be eternal like you oh search me God and know my heart test me and know my thoughts see that I follow not the wrong path and lead me in the last path of life eternal amen I am the Lord who tests the mind and heart I give each man what each man what his conduct deserves now a scripture reading from John 1 John we can be sure that we know God only by keeping his commands everyone who says I know him but does not keep his commandments is a liar and refusing to admit the truth but when anyone does obey what he has said, God's love comes to him in perfection. We can be sure that we are in God only when we claim, when the one who claims to be living the same kind of life as Christ lived. Amen. Now we come to the Benedictus, the Canticle of Zechariah. If you'd like to join me with this. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a mighty saviour in the house of David, his servant, as he has promised from the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our enemies all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his way before him, to make known to his people their salvation through the forgiveness of all their sins the loving kindness of the heart of our God who visits us like a dawn from on high he will give light to those who are in darkness those who dwell in the shadow of death and guide us into the new way of peace glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end Amen Now I'd like to share a little reading from my upper room. 
it's from an old upper room I've been reading because there's been some lovely readings in it and this one today is called God's Surprises and that gripped me when I read that God's Surprises and then there's a little scripture from 1 Kings and it says no from sorry from from uh, uh, Corinthians and it says no no eye has seen no ear has heard no mind has conceived what God has prepared for those who love him I'll just read that again no eye has seen no ear has heard no mind has conceived what God has prepared for those who love him and then there's a little, little testimony from a lady in Missouri I recently saw a cartoon that depicted a small child asking do do caterpillars know they are going to become butterflies or do, does God surprise them? The Bible is full of, surprise, full of stories in which God surprised people. God surprised Abraham and Sarah with a child in their old age. In today's scripture, uh, God surprised Elijah several times when the prophet ran from Jezebel's death threats God surprised, but God's surprise was an angel who brought him food and water. Later, when Elijah was hiding in a cave, God surprised him by speaking a still small in a still small voice. God continues to surprise us today. How often I've been surprised by a solution to what I saw as an impossible problem. For example, I recall a time when I lost my wedding ring. After searching for the entire house for days, I threw my hands up declaring I give up. Several weeks later, in the process of cleaning, I moved a dresser out from the wall where behind it was a ring, was my ring. God has hinted at the still, small, still, still more surprises to come. No matter how we try to visualise what heaven will be like, when we know when we move from this life to the next, excuse me, we are certain to be surprised. As Paul wrote, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what God has prepared for them, for the, for us. And a little prayer is, Dear Heavenly Father, make us aware of your surprises all around us. Amen. And the thought for today is, with God, the surprises never end. And the focus for today is to face life's surprises with faith. I thought that was very good, to think of things that can happen and the new things that the Lord can do in our life. That's something the Lord's been saying to me recently, that the Lord does new things in our life. He doesn't do the same old things over and over and over again. He does new things. So we have to be open to his surprises. Now we come to intercessions this morning. Just excuse me. This sticky weather. <laughs> So we pray, Heavenly Father, Earthly Mother God, we pray today for the Teyu community. We pray for all its members, past and present. And we pray today, I'd like to pray today for Brother Sean uh, and for Brother Rob, for Brother Paul and for Brother Mirry and for Sister Olivia today. We pray today uh, for a blessing upon each one of them. I'd like to pray for Sister Miriam um, in uh, New Zealand this morning we just ask uh, that you will wrap your, 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 your arms of love around Sister Miriam and help her at this time and we pray today also for Jeannie who joins us through the week we pray for Jeannie and we pr pray a blessing upon Jeannie and her family and we pray for Brother Harry today we ask a blessing upon Brother Harry and also we pray today uh, for Skip and for all those on social media today. I'd like to pray for Elaine and Laura today, Sister Elaine. And we pray today for Sister Elizabeth and Eleanor. We just ask a blessing upon them today. 
and we pray also for Sister Nancy today. We pray that you will draw close to her at this time as she commits herself more, more to you, Lord. And we pray today for Elsie's daughter, Jane, and for all the friends and prayer partners of the Teyu community. We pray for them today. And Lord, we think of all the things that are going on in the world today and all, all the troubled places in the world. And we just pray that peace will come to this world. And we just pray that people will learn to get along with one another and will learn to see through one another through the eyes of love. I pray for Cathy, who is one of uh, Brother Sean's neighbours. We just pray for Cathy, who is going blind. We pray for her today. And now we stop for a few moments. And anything that's troubling us today, anything that we're burdened for today, anything that's laid upon our heart, we bring it to the Lord this morning. And we give it to the Lord. And we hand it over to God and the angels this morning. We just hand over and we let go and we let God take a hand in our prayers today. And we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers today. And I'd like to pray for all our families today. We just ask a blessing upon all our families today. And for all the requests on the chat board this morning, we just pray for all the requests on the chat board that each one will be answered, Lord, today. For all those who are close to us who have passed away, we pray that their souls may rest in peace. And we pray for all those in troubled places in the world, we pray that peace will come to this world, Lord. And we ask for a unity of all faiths. We pray that people will stop using uh, their religion as an excuse to fight. We just pray for a unity of all faiths. And we pray for all those with serious illnesses and incurable diseases today. For all those with uh, cancer and with heart trouble. And for all those uh, that suffer in mind, body and spirit today. We pray for the lonely today and for those that are unloved and feel that they're completely on their own, Lord. We just ask that you will come to them in some way today and make their life a little better and help us to care for those in need today. And we pray today for all those that have nobody to pray for them. And we pray today for all our pets. We ask a blessing upon all our pets. And we pray for the animal kingdom. Amen. And I'd like to pray the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. We pray, Heavenly Father, Earthly Mother God, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation today, Lord, but deliver us from evil and from all negativity, Lord. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And Lord, we just bring today to you. And we bring all the things that we might be doing today, the people that we might meet today. And we just ask that you will be with us as we go along today. And Lord, if I forget thee today, don't forget me. And we just ask to be filled afresh with the Holy Spirit. And touch our hearts and our lives, Lord, with your Holy Spirit. And help us to touch other people's lives, Lord. We pray, breathe on us, breath of God. Fill our hearts with life anew, that we might love what thou dost love and do what thou wouldst do. Touch our lives, Lord, that we might see you in everything that lives and moves and as it's been from you this day. Empower us, Lord, to live in the present moment, seeking only your love and light. Amen.
and I just thank you for being with us this morning and we'll draw to a close with the blessing. I will say the blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky, on those we love this day, on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother, son and sister moon be in our hearts now and forever. Amen. And we send love, light and blessing and peace to all those troubled places in the world and we blow love to one another this morning. Amen. So have a great day everyone and if it's evening where you are, like with Sister Miriam in New Zealand, we pray have a good night's sleep and we say have a great day wherever you are in the world. We just, we just pray that blessing upon you today. Say blessing and peace everyone.